hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel the learning hub so in today's video we are going to discuss about logistic regression and in previous video we have discussed about the linear regression uh, and in this video when we talk of logistic regression so basically it is a supervised machine learning algorithm that is used for classification task where the goal is to predict the probability that an instance of belonging to a given class or not it is a kind of basically a statistical algorithm which analyzes the relationship between a set of independent and dependent variable just like in linear regression and basically deals with the binary variables uh, it is very much useful when we have to do certain decision making like we want to detect any mail uh, which is spam or not true or false zero or uh, one success or failure so in all such cases as we can say in the dependent binary variable uh, this is very much useful so they have a, the goal of this is basically to find the variable relationship independent variables can be continuous or these variables can be binary so when we talk of this logistic regression uh, which is a supervised machine learning algorithm and we use it for classification uh, task so the difference uh, between linear regression and logistic regression is very much important to understand so uh, we will discuss the difference between these two at the end of the video so firstly we will understand about the logistic regression so it is used for predicting the categorical dependent variable as in a given set the logistic regression predicts the output of categorical variable that, that uh, where we consider the categorical variable as the dependent variable therefore the in this case the output will either uh, will be discrete value or you can call it a categorical value it can be either yes or no one zero one true false and uh, so on which is a probabilistic value logistic regression is very much similar to linear regression except there is difference uh, that how we are using it linear regression uh, is used for solving regression problem whereas logistic regression is used for solving the classification problem in logistic regression uh, instead of fitting a regression line uh, where we have discussed that in linear regression we have a uh, regression line and in case of logistic regression we have s like curve at the way that is s curve so here the curve from this logistic function indicates the likelihood of something such as uh, where whether the cells are cancerous uh, in a disease or not fine so vice versa is there in for predicting the values and in on this s curve the points are lying uh, like here or here whereas when we talk of linear regression the points are like this along the regression line so logistic regression is a significant machine learning algorithm because it has the ability to provide and classify new data using continuous and discrete and discrete data sets it can be used to classify the observations using different types of data and can easily determine the most effective variables used in the classification so this is used for biological sciences in early 20th century and it was then used in many social sciences applications logistic regression is used when the dependent variable is categorical this is a brief difference between linear regression logistic regression where a linear regression approach models the relationship between dependent and independent variable and a statistical model in logistic regression predicts the probability of the outcome that can have two values linear regression is used to solve regression problems whereas logistic regression is used for classification problems linear regression will uh, estimate the dependent variable whether there is a change in the independent variable or not based on the dependent and on the other hand logistic regression calculates the possibility of event occurring 
आउटपुट इन केस ऑफ लीनियर रिग्रेशन इज कॉन्टिन्यूस एंड इन केस ऑफ लॉजिस्टिक रिग्रेशन द आउटकम इज डिस्क्रीट इट यूजेज अ स्टेट लाइन एंड इट यूजेज लॉजिस्टिक रिग्रेशन यूजेज एस कर्व सो एग्जाम्पल्स कैन बी इन लीनियर रिग्रेशन प्रोडिक्टिंग द जी डी पी ऑफ अ कंट्री प्रोडिक्टिंग प्रोडक्ट प्राइस एंड द हाउस प्राइस एंड सेलिंग प्राइस वे ऑन द अदर हैंड लॉजिस्टिक रिग्रेशन इज लाइक प्रोडिक्टिंग वेदर द मेल इज स्पैम और नॉट फॉर प्रोडिक्टिंग दैट क्रेडिट कार्ड ट्रांजेक्शन इज फ्रॉड और नॉट एंड लाइक दैट सो दिस इज हॉ इट लुक लाइक्स फॉर अ कॉन्टीन्यूज वेरिएबल टू कम इन द न्यूमेरिकल इट लुक्स लाइक दिस इन केस ऑफ लीनियर रिग्रेशन एंड इन लॉजिस्टिक रिग्रेशन देयर इज एस कर्व लीनियर रिग्रेशन कैन बी यूज फॉर होम प्राइसेस स्टॉक प्राइसेस प्रडिक्टेड वैल्यू एज कॉन्टीन्यूज एंड लॉजिस्टिक रिग्रेशन एज वी हैव डिस्कस्ड ई मेल स्पैम और नॉट विल द कस्टमर बाई इंश्योरेंस और नॉट विच पार्ट इज गोइंग टू विन एंड ऑल सच केसेज वेयर इन द वैल्यूज आर प्रोडिक्टेड एज कैटेगरिकल एंड द टाइप ऑफ लॉजिस्टिक रिग्रेशन इज बाइंड्री लॉजिस्टिक रिग्रेशन मल्टीनोमियल लॉजिस्टिक रिग्रेशन एंड ऑर्डिनल रिग्रेशन वे बाइनली इज ऑल्सो नोन एज बाइनोमियल एंड बाइनरी वे द टारगेट वेरिएबल कैन हैव टू पॉसिबल टाइप्स लाइक जीरो वन येस नो विन लॉस पास फेल एंड सो ऑन एंड इन केस ऑफ मल्टी नोम मल्टी नॉमियल टारगेट वेरिएबल कैन हैव थ्री और मोस्ट पॉसिबली मोर देन थ्री आउटपुट्स दैट आर ऑर्डर्ड फाइन सो दे हैव नो क्वान्टिटेटिव सिग्निफिकेंस एंड देर इज नो ऑर्डर इन द केस लाइक वी कैन से देर आर कैटेगरीज लाइक डिसीज ए डिसीज बी डिसीज सी डिसीज डी एंड लाइक वी आर टॉकिंग ऑफ ग्रेड स्टूडेंट इज इन ए ग्रेड बी ग्रेड सी ग्रेड डी ग्रेड एंड सो ऑन एंड वेन वी टॉक ऑफ ऑर्डिनल इट इज जस्ट लाइक पुटिंग अ पर्टिकुलर ऑर्डर लाइक वी से समथिंग इज वेरी पुअर बट दिस इज पुअर दिस वन इज गुड एंड दैट कैन बी वेरी गुड एंड सो ऑन सिमिलरली द स्कोर कैन बी जीरो वन टू थ्री फोर एंड सो ऑन सो दिस इज हॉल लॉजिस्टिक रिग्रेशन इज कैटेगराइज इन टू डिफरेंट डिफरेंट टाइप्स so when we represent uh, the logistic regression it look like stick where these are the input that are coming x1 x2 x3 theta1 theta2 theta3 are the weights on that value and then outputs may be uh, based on these outputs it will set the weights it will say whether and uh, the something uh, someone is sad or happy so this is one of the example in which you can use logistic regression where uh, all the variables we can see are 0 and 1 like uh, at a particular age whether that has insurance or not so 0 stands for no and 1 stands for yes so this can be used as y and this can be used as x where y is dependent one and x is the independent one so as we can see when that data is mapped on to the uh, curve the values output value will be either 0 or 1 nothing lies in between 0 at 0.5 so these on the based on the age factor so if we try to map this point so we can uh, see it will look like an s curve fine so this is how the outputs are being drawn uh, there is very much uh, important function that is the sigmoid function uh, so the sigmoid function is a mathematical function that is used to map the predicted values to the probabilities it maps any real value into another value within the range of 0 or 1 so like we are having certain values that is to be mapped between 0 and 1 0 and 1 in the output true or false in the output so that ranges that values are set with the help of the sigmoid function it maps the real value into another value within the range of 0 and One. So the value of logistic regression must lies between zero and one, which cannot go beyond this limit. So it forms a curve that is in the form of S, as we have seen in the previous example. Uh, in this slide, as we have seen, fine. So the S curve is called the sigmoid function in that case. In case of logistic function, the logistic regression. Uh, we use uh, the concept of threshold value which defines the probability of either 0 or 1 such as uh, values above the threshold like goes into the category of 1 and the values below that is coming under the category of 0 so this is how we calculate uh, the sigmoid function 
वन अब्लिक वन प्लस ई रेज टू पार माइनस जेड वेयर ई इज सिंपली ओलर्स रूल नंबर दैट इज हैविंग वैल्यू टू रेज टू पार टू पॉइंट सेवन वन एट टू एट दैट इज द वैल्यू फॉर दिस ई एंड दिस इज द लीनियर इक्वेशन एंड हेयर विच इज यूज इन लीनियर रिग्रेशन एंड वेन वी टॉक ऑफ लॉजिस्टिक रिग्रेशन दिस इज द एग्जाम्पल ऑफ लॉजिस्टिक रिग्रेशन वेयर हाउ वी कैलकुलेट दिस वैल्यू ऑफ जेड ई हैज इलोर्स नंबर द वैल्यू इज दिस एंड हाउ वी कैलकुलेट दिस जेड इज माइनस एम इन टू एक्स प्लस वी वेयर वी नो दैट दिस वी इज सिमिलर टू दिस दिस एम इज दिस वन एंड एक्स इज द एट्रीब्यूट सो द लीनियर इक्वेशन विल गो हेयर सो इफ आई टॉक ऑफ दिस कर्व ई रेज टू पार माइनस जेड सो इट मीन्स ई इज टू पॉइंट सेवन एंड वट इज गोइंग इन टू द पार इन टू इट्स पार इट इज माइनस एम एक्स प्लस बी सो दिस इज द वैल्यू दैट इज यूज टू कैलकुलेट नाउ दिस इज जस्ट लाइक अ लीनियर इक्वेशन सो फ्रॉम हेयर वी कैन गेट द आइडिया दैट द लॉजिस्टिक रिग्रेशन हैज इट्स फाउंडेशन स्टोन इन द लीनियर रिग्रेशन इट सेल्फ सो वेन वी टॉक ऑफ लॉजिस्टिक रिग्रेशन वी कैन कंसिडर द सीनैरियो वेन वी नीड टू क्लासीफाई वेदर एन ई मेल इज मैम और नॉट इफ वी यूज लीनियर रिग्रेशन इन दिस केस and then there is a need for setting up a threshold value based on the classification that can be done so if uh, the actual class is a uh, malignant malignant predicted continuous value as 0.4 in that case and the threshold value is 0.5 then it will be classified as to not malignant like uh, there is a threshold value of 0.5 and uh, here If we say the output comes to be zero point three, then it means we are checking for if uh, suppose we are checking for mail is spam or not, then this zero point uh, three will say not spam. And if the value come in comparison with the, this threshold value come to be zero point seven, then it says uh, it is considered as one because it is more than the threshold value, so it is considered that the mail is spam. So similarly, pass fail or any other values can be taken. so here we can say it can be inferred that the linear regression is not suitable for classification problem linear regression is unbounded uh, and this brings the logistic regression into picture and here comes the advantage of logistic regression so uh, to sum up we can say when when we have to uh, detect certain continuous variable like we want to calculate weight from height Where height is y, weight is x. So these values are continuous values. Then we go with what we go with linear regression. Now suppose there is some categorical or discrete value. Like in the case, I want to say based on the age, we are going to predict heart disease. Zero stands for no. Yes, no, no. So this is a categorical variable. If uh, something is happening like this, the bear independent variable is this age, and this dependent variable is whether that person suffers from heart disease or not. And with so this is my dependent variable. Then in this case, we have to go with the logistic regression. So here we are having a decision boundary. and that is used to predict which class a data belongs to that can be known with the uh, help of threshold value so based on this threshold the obtained estimated probability is classified into different different classes as we have seen in the example 0.5 is being set as a threshold then below if we are getting any value below 0.5 then it will be considered as no and if it is more than yeah, more than 0.5 it will be considered as one so this is the rule of a decision boundary which is uh, in the polynomial order which can be increased to get the complex decision boundaries uh, so that's all for logistic regression and we have also discussed about uh, the comparison of linear regression and logistic regression and if anybody has uh, not gone through the video of linear regression then you can uh, go with uh, to the video of linear regression and logistic regression uh, linear regression and we have also put a video that is related to linear implementation of linear regression in python so you can watch that 
and uh, after this i will be uploading one more video uh, that will be implementation of logistic regression in python in which we are going to use a data set uh, like diabetes patient data set and we want to detect whether the person will suffer from a particular diabetes disease or not so that is based on categorical so in that case we will use or apply the logistic regression in the python uh, so that's all for uh, this logistic regression topic if you have any query uh, or you have any suggestion then you can do write that right in the comment box and if you have not subscribed my channel yet then do subscribe the channel and uh, also put on the uh, also click on notification bell button so that you will not miss any important video so thanks for watching the video